Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video, I'm going to talk about a very important aspect of our AI agents, which is giving them memory. Now, you need to understand that by default, none of your agents will remember things. Unlike the chat GPT experience or the Gemini experience or whatever tools you are using right now, those tools would typically remember the conversation and and if you ask a follow up question or you know, even the uh, question, uh, the answers that are coming are based on the context. Now, there are many ways to manage a memory, but LangGraph gives us quite a few interesting tools through which we can manage this and ensure that our AI agent is able to remember. Otherwise, you will have to send the entire history again and again, which is not a great experience. So, if we go into details, there are concepts like you know, short term memory, long term memory. In a very simple way, if I tell you, uh, short term memory is like if we are building a chatbot, then the conversation which is happening right now, right, the entire thing is something which should go into your um, short term memory okay and if you see uh, this does state in that particular way because uh, the short term memory is in a way that if a new conversation has started or maybe you know after um, some time that that entire conversation the memory may not be so much relevant okay however there would be certain things that throughout this conversation would come up you know you would know certain things about your customer you may um, infer certain information from your customers conversation and those are things which you would like to persist you may want to profile your customer in, in that particular way and so those information goes into your long-term memory okay for example if the customer is in a conversation and you understand that you know that conversation is not going very well because the customer was unhappy about some experience right it can go as a pointer or maybe you know that the customer likes uh, a particular sport and you uh, you sell certain kinds of cloths then that thing goes into your long-term memory so that later on you are able to customize the conversation accordingly, right? So this is uh, in a very nutshell what memory would allow you to do. Um, now LangGraph allows you to use Postgres, Mongo and Redis as checkpointers, which are nothing but you know your, a way to um, have your memory or you know, checkpointers. Now I would in this video create a Postgres database. I mean, I'll show you my setup. I'll show you how I have created the database in Postgres and I have done my connection so that I am able to connect to the database and create a sense of memory for the AI agent. Okay. Now I have a notebook for this. I've written my code. I'll show you. It's very straightforward. In this video, I'm going to talk about the, um, I would say the concept of memory so that in the later videos when we are going uh, deeper into our AI agent development you know we are able to use the memory properly so these are some very um, common things which we have seen in our example one two and three so we I'm I'm creating uh, I'm importing certain things which are required for my graph to be created I'm using the chat open AI. Okay, I am doing a load ENV because I have these things in my ENV. If you see, for example, I can print this out, obviously. Okay, so this is the kind of connection string that I'm using. And <clears throat> now, when you are working with the memory, right, you need to uh, be inside the connection so with postgres saver from connection string as check pointer this is the check pointer instance that we are getting right we need to write our code inside it now 
if you have just created the database and you don't have the tables, then this check pointer setup, if you run it for the first time, it will create all the schemas because the check pointer um, would expect the tables to be in a particular way because there is, there is code written in a way that it expects a schema in that particular fashion. So I'll show you the table structure. Okay. So I have chatbot and I have tables inside that I have checkpoint blobs, checkpoint migrations, the writes and the checkpoints. What we have done over here is obviously I have commented it right now because in the uh, current execution, I don't need that. However, if you keep it on, it will just ignore. So you don't have to worry. It will not break anything. It will not delete your table or do anything disruptive. Okay. So I have this call model. This is the definition which I am using in a simple graph. Okay. This is my builder, add node, add edge, compile, and this is my check pointer. So the Postgres saver from connection string, what I got, I am passing that as a check pointer. Now in every check pointer, you get a thread ID, okay, which I'm sending like this. If you see the config is being sent when I am streaming and this is required because the thread ID is the unique identifier through which uh, the check pointer will be able to load the previous conversation and understand what has happened. Right. So I have this over here <clears throat> and we can literally write anything in here. Okay. So I will not show you the previous output. I'll just give you a fresh experience of how things work. Mm -hmm. So, right. I have input, right? Yes. User input. So hi, I am Amitav Roy. Uh, that's about it. So what will happen is I'll get a stream. Hello, Amitav. It's great to meet you. How can I assist you? I want to know if you know my name. Okay. Yes, it does. So let's just say I quit this conversation and I start one more with thread one. Okay. Previously we had two. Now we do one. Hi, I am John Doe. Let's see. Okay. Now I quit. And what I will do is this time I would change my thread ID to two. Okay. And I will run again. Hey, do you remember my name? Now it says, yes, you mentioned earlier that your name is Amitav Roy. Fair enough. Let's stop this thread and go back to one. Run it again. Hey, do you know who I am? Question mark. Hi, John Doe. I don't have information about you beyond what you have shared, but I'm happy to chat. So it knows that I'm and this user is John. Do you know my full name. Let's see. Yes, your name is John Doe. So as you can see, this is how we are able to create a concept of memory, right? And let's see what is getting stored in the database. This is very interesting. Um, yeah. So this is what my conversation is going on. You can see there is this thread ID. No, two, 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 then we have a few ones, again, a few twos, and then again, a few ones. So this is how uh, the, ch <clears throat> the check pointer is keeping a track of um, what has happened. And uh, you know, it, it will get everything, every information about the conversation from this table. And it is doing everything automatically. You know, you literally, if you see, I'm not writing any query. I'm not doing anything. I'm just passing the thread. And that takes care of everything that this particular you know, AI agent requires for the memory. 
And yeah, that's what I wanted to cover in this video, guys. I hope you like this. I feel Checkpointer is a very strong thing and uh, it gives our AI agent so much power. And that's what I wanted to share you in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon. And yes, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.